So anyway, here's a short video on my setup for using with the GoPro on a T-Rex 500. Um, very simple, you've just got the 600 skids, which I use for something else. But then that didn't work after many months of trial and error. Um, so we came up with was we took the skids off, put the old ones back on, and made up an aluminium frame. It's just simple angle, which is 20 mil by 20 mil by one and a half mil across here, and this just basically screws on through the skid in the middle. Just drill a hole through there. Then we've got another angle piece here to raise this up, and another piece of metal which it's actually glued onto there. Um, also underneath a piece of rubber to stop this moving under there. Um, also a couple of old batteries of um, a Blade 450 which makes it a bit more balanced because when you've got the weight of the camera on the front your centre of gravity is out. Um, I also put these little pieces of aluminium on so when I hoop the elastic through them it sort of stays on the helicopter as well. Um, another thing we also use is straps, a couple of straps loosely put on, so at least if the elastic bands snap, it's not going to fall off the helicopter and land on someone. Um, also got the foam on the skids, on here in the 500. And it's just basically cable ties there to keep this on, it just loops around each one. Like that. And the other side, like that. Then we usually put the straps around here, but leave them loose. And then it just basically sits like that on the helicopter. And it's not going to fall off because of the pieces of metal that, that come out. They hold it quite well. But I've got this swing sort of thing. The problem is that if you have elastic bands that are too tight the vibrations can travel through whereas you need to have them quite slack and loose like this so then you get no vibration but then you've got that swinging so on the next one I might actually build a new frame from aluminium I actually have these incorporated into the frame a bit like bungees and a platform inside that this sits on also, we need more weight, the same weight, just about 200 grams, and that will actually deaden the vibration as well and help this be a bit more steady. Because I think sometimes when I'm flying and it's turning like this, sometimes there's a bit too much movement, but it's a good start to get rid of vibration, which was the main problem that I had for the last few months. Um, and that's about it, really. Um, and maybe got to a 600 which is even more stable um, apart from that the 500 is a good helicopter it's more stable than a 450 which is very sort of all over the place so I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching